Hey, what's up everyone? This is Brandon Bias from Chichichega.com and welcome to a Photoshop advanced tutorial. Recently, we received a request from one of our viewers to make a tutorial on how to make a vampire. And here we are. I'm going to teach you how to make a vampire in Photoshop. Before we get into this, I just want to let you guys know that if you have any other requests on a tutorial that you want to see from us, then go ahead and leave those requests in the comment section below or just leave a comment on our page or send us a message. You know, anything like that will just do fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up Photoshop. And before we get into anything specific, I would like you guys to go to Edit, Preferences, General. And I want you guys to turn on Zoom with Scroll Wheel. I highly recommend having this check marked because it makes uh, zooming into the finer details of your image a lot easier. And not to mention, I'm going to be using it a lot myself, so if you guys have it as well, then that'll just make it easier for you to follow along. Okay, so now we're ready to start. Let's go ahead and open up our image. Uh, there's the one I'm going to be using right here. And I'm going to hit, uh, let's go to my move tool real fast, just because I like having it out. And hit control zero to zoom it in a little bit so it fits the canvas. And here we go. This is our picture of Trexton. He wanted to be in one of our tutorials, so we decided, hey, he might as well be turned into a vampire. And hopefully he doesn't get mad at us for that, but I think he's cool with it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and double click this lock right here, and uh, assuming you all have the same lock that I do. And name this layer Trexton, and hit OK. That should get rid of the lock and name the layer for you. And you want to duplicate this layer twice by hitting Control or Command J, depending on whether or not you're on a PC or a Mac. So once you have that duplicated twice, you should have your original picture and the two copies of it. And select your original copy and control click the create a new layer icon down here. And that should make a layer below the one you had selected. And we'll just call this white BG. And I want you to hit shift backspace or I believe the Mac shortcut is option delete and you'll get this fill pop-up menu and go ahead and use white and mode normal opacity 100 percent blah 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 hit OK and that should fill that up with white okay so there are a couple of things that we're going to do to this image in order to make it look like a vampire one of them is to lighten up his skin the other is to make his eyes gold instead of brown and the third, which is optional, is to give him fangs. Actually, I forgot. There's a fourth thing. We're going to give him some shadow around his eyes as well. And the reason I chose these as uh, things to manipulate and add to the picture to make him look like a vampire is because I used that gay douchebag Edward from the stupid Twilight movies as a reference point. I figured, you know, that's that's pretty popular, and not to mention that was mentioned in the request. So let's go ahead and get down to business, shall we? Go ahead and select your second copy and go to Image, Adjustments, Desaturate, or Shift Control U for you shortcut users. And as you can see, it just makes everything black and white and we'll go to our channels and we're going to control click the RGB layer right here click and that should select all the whites and the grays and blah 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 and go back to your uh, layers panel right here and what you want to do is go to your original copy of your picture and click the add a layer mask icon down here and that should use the selection that you just got from your channels and make a mask accordingly but I already know since I've been toying with this myself that this mask needs to be inverted so with this thumbnail selected go ahead and hit control or command I and you should see that invert nicely right there and then go back to your second copy 
and go ahead and change the blend mode to overlay and that should give it a nice contrasted feel to it but we want to be able to see uh, this layer below the first copy because this layer is going to be masked so that this white layer shows through here and makes this layer a lighter color than it normally is so basically we're just gonna go to this layer and we're gonna add a layer mask to it and we're gonna grab our oops wrong one we're gonna grab our brush tool make sure it's a pretty a pretty decent size I'll size it up some more yeah, it's not big enough this will work right here and with black as your foreground color go ahead and paint in on your person's skin just give it a rub a dub dub and it's okay if you will paint on the hair a little bit and that should be fine right there and you can see all the areas that you painted black on this uh, thumbnail right here it shows all the parts that are uh, being seen through to show the stuff that's below it which is in turn showing the white right here so lots of complicated mumbo jumbo that you probably don't even care to know and you can see that you uh, still have a little bit of the original uh, skin color showing between his hairs right there so if you zoom in use the space bar to click and drag and uh, position it a little bit better making sure you have this thumbnail still selected and hitting the left bracket you can size down your uh, your brush right here and paint in along there size it down some more and a little bit more over here and that should just get in those perfectly right there okay so we're gonna hit control zero to zoom it back to the canvas size and to be honest he's a little bit more pale than I would like him to be so we're gonna go to our white BG layer and control click the create new layer icon and we're gonna hit shift backspace or option delete and fill that with black and hit OK I'm gonna call this black BG and we're gonna turn down the opacity of the white layer just a smudge so that way he's not overpowered with the paleness of the white layer and all that other stuff. Alright, so we've successfully made our character pretty pale. So the next thing on our to-do list is to make his eyes gold. So what we're going to do is we're going to make two new layers. We're going to call them right eye and left eye. And we're going to select both of them by having one selected and control clicking the other and we're gonna hit control G to turn them into a group and we're gonna name it eyes and we'll open that back up and select the right eye because that's where we're gonna start 